brothers and sisters, this month of Shaban, we, you have been listening to khutbah and talks. That is preparation for Ramadan. That a Muslim will look forward for Ramadan, not only to start from Ramadan, they'll be starting before Ramadan. That's why all this sunnah fasting coming and recitation of the Quran, all this you have heard in the previous khutbahs. So one of the areas we'd like to focus to get more preparation in this month of Shaban for Ramadan, that is to abstain from a huge sin we commit by one of the limb organ of our body. Very easily, most of the people will be committing so much sin by one of the organs, one of the limbs, and that is tongue. Talking. Anything we talk, it is written against us. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala appointed two of the honorable writers, Kiram and Katibin. They are ready to write every word we say. مَا يَلْفِذْ مِنْ قَوْلٍ إِلَّا لَدَيْهِ رَقِيبٌ عَتِيدٌ A man utters no word except that with him is an observer prepared to record. Any word we say, it is recorded. One will be writing, it is good one in good book. Other one will be writing, if it is not good, it is sinful, it is sin then it will be written in the bad book of Amal. No word will be going somewhere in the middle. Either it is good or it is bad. That's why many of the Salaf Salihini scholars, when they will be having pain of illness, they will be not making any word, any sound, oh, something, the expression of their pain, no. They'll suppress this, any, any kind of you know, expression of pain comes. Because this pain ex ex expression is not rewardful. Rather, having sabr is rewardful. It could be also indicating that you are fed up by the pain, fed up by the decree of Allah, as if you are reje rejecting it. Even some of the scholars say, uh, if it is too hot uh, the weather or too cold, it's too much cold today, too hot too cold. This expression itself, a rejection of Allah's decree. They'll be that careful. It could be written against us even. So all this will be written and then it will be presented to us to read. So, اقرأ كتابة كفى بنفسك اليوم عليك حسيبة. So it will be said, read your record. Sufficient is yourself against you this day as accountant. Yourself is enough to have your account. That's why Rasulullah sallallahu ordered us to remain silent if there is nothing good to say. He sallallahu alayhi wa said, Man kana yu'mina billahi wa al akhir faliyakul khayran aw la yasmut. He who believes in Allah on the last day must either speak good or remain silent. But when we sit down, friends together, family members together, in the dining table, uh, in a cup of tea, in a, a restaurant, somewhere in a meeting, in a gathering, how much we talk? And every word will be written. So a believer will be very calculative speaking very economy way, which is, you cannot avoid, you must say. And that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, رَضَى عُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ لَا خَيْرَ فِي كَثِيرٍ مِّنَّ جُوَاهُمْ إِلَّا مَنْ أَمَرَ بِصَدَقَةٍ أَوْ مَعْرُوفٍ أَوْ إِصْلَاحٍ بَيْنَ النَّاسِ وَمَنْ يَفْعَلْ ذَلِكَ بْتِغَاءَ مَرْضَاتِ اللَّهِ فَسَوْفَ نُؤْتِيهِ أَدْرًا عَظِيمًا no good is in much of their private conversation, except for those who enjoin charity, motivating people to give charity, or that which is right, or 
reconciliation between people who are fighting between them. And whoever does that, seeking means to the approval of Allah, then we are going to give him a great reward. This kind of good words, good speech, will be highly rewarded, of course. But if it is not a good one, if it is something not liked by Allah, then it is a disaster. Just say, it said, Kalam ibn Adam kulluhu alayhi, la lahu, illa amrun bi ma'roof, aw nahi an munkar, aw dhikrullah. The son of Adam's all speeches is against him, not for him, not in favor of him, except for commanding good or forbidding evil or remembrance of Allah. So a simple word, a simple sentence could be bringing something so much goodness to us or could be bringing disaster to us. That came in another hadith. Prophet ﷺ said, إن العبد لا يتكلم بالكلمة من رضوان الله تعالى ما يلقي الهبالا يرفعه الله بها درجات وإن العبد لا يتكلم بالكلمة من سخط الله تعالى لا يلقي بها بالا يهوي بها في جهنم. So a man utters a word pleasing to Allah without considering it of any significance, but something, Allah liked it. He said something good word. He didn't think it is so liked by Allah, for which Allah exalt his ranks in paradise. Something other way. Another one speaks a word displeasing to Allah without considering it of any importance. Somebody did something wrong, just talking about him. Okay, exposing him. And for this reason, he will sink down in hell. <coughs> One simple uh, sentence could be causing that. In another hadith, Rasulullah said, In al abd la yatakallamu bil kalimati ma yatabayyanu ma fiha yahwi biha fin nari abada ma bayna al mashriq wal maghrib. The servant speaks the uh, the word that he doesn't understand its repercussions, but he sinks down in hellfire further than the distance between the east and the west. Abu Musa al Ashari radiallahu anhu, he uh, was a good Muslim from Yemen and settled in Medina. He said, قلت يا رسول الله أي المسلمين أفضل؟ okay who is the most excellent among the Muslims who is the best Muslim يا رسول الله؟ قال من سلم المسلمون من لسانه ويده he said one from whose tongue and hands the other Muslims are secure safe in, in if he, somebody's absence his honor and dignity is safe from you, you are a good Muslim. If he, if he could not maintain that, we are not a good Muslim. Uqba ibn Amir radiallahu anhu, he said, Qulti ya Rasulullah, man najah? The Sahabi Uqba said, O Prophet of Allah, could you tell me, okay, what, how can salvation be achieved? How can I achieve salvation in the hereafter? Qala amsek alayka lisana wal yasaka baytuk wabki ala khati'atik. He answered, control your tongue. Control your tongue. Keep to your house. If you have nothing to do outside, no important task, just hanging around in the marketplace, in the street, is not a good idea. Stay at your home. You are safe. And weep over your sins. Cry. Regret you have committed sin. That is the Najah. That is the salvation. Sahabi Abu Sayyid al-Khudri radiallahu anhu narrates a hadith from 
Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He said, "Ida asbah ibn Adam, fa inal aada akulha, fa inal aada akulha tu kafir lisan, wa taqul ittaqillaha fiina, fa inna fa inna ma nhnu bika, fa nistaqamta istaqamna, wa niyajazta yajazna." The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said. When the son of Adam gets up in the morning, wakes up, all the limbs humble themselves before the tongue, request the tongue, and say, Fear Allah, O tongue, fear Allah for our sake, because we are with you. Meaning, we'll be rewarded or punished as a result of what you do. If you are straight, we will be straight and if you are crooked we will become crooked that's why many of the scholars said al-lisanu amirul badan the tongue is the main leader or commander of the whole body one day prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was giving very important advice to sahabi muadh radiyallahu anhu after this long hadith, in the end he said, should I tell you the main important bit, main important task, main important issue in our life? Then he said, he hold his tongue by his hand, made it out this way. And he said, Kuf hadha. control this one, control this one, this tongue, control it. Kultiya Rasulullah, wa inna lamu akhaduna bima natakallamu bih. I asked, O Messenger of Allah, shall we really be accounted for what we talk about, everything we talk, we gossip, we make chit chat, we make so much conversation, we'll be asked about everything. Then he said, faqala thakiratka ummuk. He replied, may your mother lose you. وَهَلْ يَكُبُّ النَّاسَ فِي النَّارِ عَلَى وُجُوهِهِمْ إِلَّا حَصَائِدُ أَلْسِنَتِهِمْ People will be thrown on their faces into the hell on account of their tongues. Most people will be thrown to the hell because of their tongue. Those who are practicing ourselves, many of us never drinking alcohol, neither stealing, nor committing adultery, not committing many major sins. But one of the things practicing people will be committing, that is the exercise of this tongue, to have more sin added to their life. The easiest limb in our body, this one. There is no bill to pay, there is no tax on it. You don't need to have any other, even though you have no energy, you can still talk. Much easy function we are tested with. <coughs> In another hadith, Prophet ﷺ said, أَكْثَرُ خَطَايَ إِبْنُ آدَمْ مِنْ لِسَانِ And the most of the sins of the sons of Adam will be coming from his tongue. That's why Ibn Abbas رضي الله عنه يَأْخُذُ بِلِسَانِ وَهُوَ يَقُولُ وَيْحَكْ قُلْ خَيْرًا تَغْنَمْ وَاسْكُتْ عَنْ سُوءٍ تَسْلَمْ وَإِلَّا فَعْلَمْ أَنَّكَ سَتَنْدَمْ Ibn Abbas رضي الله عنه was Holding, holding his hand, his tongue with his hand, and telling it, uh, "Oh, to you, you have to speak good. Then you will be achieving something good. If not, nothing to say good. Remain silent. You'll be safe and secure. <coughs> if not, you'll be regretting one day. Oh, tongue." Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu. Kana yumsiku lisana ho yakul hada la di awradan al mawarid. One day Umar came to visit Abu Bakr He was holding his hand, bringing it out of the tongue and, 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 and blaming it and criticizing it. Why you talk too much? Then Umar said, Why? May Allah save you. Why are you doing this to a torture of your tongue? He said, هَذَا الَّذِي أَوْرَدَنِ الْمَوَارِدِ This one has taken me to, uh, uh, to many kind of uh, 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 destruction. It caused me many destruction. This was the carefulness 
of the Sahaba <coughs> When Prophet ﷺ was taken to Mi'ra to ascension, then he has seen some people. Lahum Avfarun Min Nuhasin Yahmashuna Ujuhahum Sudurahum. I saw a group of people who were scratching uh, scratching their chests, scratching their chests and faces with their copper nails, taking the flesh and skin out of their body by their own hand, punishing themselves. Prophet was shown this scene in the journey of Miraj ascension. Then he said, I asked Jibreel, why, why this punishment to them? Oh Jibreel, he replied, these are the people who ate flesh of others by backbiting and trampled people's honor. And last example from our mother Aisha radiallahu anha. One day she said, Qultu lin Nabiya sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, hasbuka min safiya kadha wa kadha. Probably Prophet sallallahu was mentioning something good about Hafsa, his uh, you know, wife, our mother. Then Aisha radiallahu anha became a bit jealous. And, and she said, okay, uh, Safiya is, okay, a such thing, okay, is, uh, is such thing is enough for her. Means indicating this short lady you're talking about. Just short lady. Indicating to her, you know, body height. Prophet Sallallahu was so upset. And she said, he said to her, لَقَدْ قُلْتِ كَلِمَةً لَوْ مُزِجَتْ بِمَاءِ الْبَحَرِ لَمَا زَجَتْهُ He said to her, you have indeed uttered a word which would polite or pollute, which will pollute the sea if it is uh, mixed with this water, this word. Whole seas, water will be polluted. Because you have mentioned somebody who is short to say, okay, short guy, short person. You can describe somebody in a positive need if there is, but if it is negative connotation, then it is a big sin itself even. And another occasion, she said, Another occasion, okay, uh, I, 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 you know, imitated a person, in fact, imitated a person. She was imitating a person before him, before the Prophet. Then he said, I do not like that I should imitate someone even if I am paid in return such and such. Sometimes we do this. And there are, you know, there's a comedians do this a lot. And people laugh hours and hours. These are big sins, people don't know. We Muslims must be aware of it, must be aware of this. May Allah guide us. May Allah give us tawfiq. Allah mahaddin asaddin 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 Allah mahaddin asaddin